Since 2004, the Pocono Mountains Community Fundraiser has raised more than $3 million for local nonprofits as Monroe County's largest single event fundraiser. This September's event, hosted here at Mount Airy Casino Resort, features samplings from some of your favorite Pocono restaurants. And the Pocono Television Network is proud to introduce you to this year's three recipients. Take a look. Get this. Two-year-old Leonardo is happy and healthy, playing with other kids in the classroom. He loves it. Leonardo's mom, Lee Marie, enrolled him in the infant and toddler program through Pocono Services for Families and Children, serving Monroe County for 60 years. The program provides eligible families with low cost or in some cases free child care based on household income. There is a growing wait list. Child care is really expensive, so when I found out of the opportunity of, you know, being able to get assistance, I it, it just worked perfectly. Serving more than 300 individuals from birth through age 24, in addition to the infant and toddler program, PSFC also operates a Head Start preschool program and youth empowerment services, providing career connections and summer employment opportunities. It's rewarding, you know, especially since we get to see our children develop from the cradle to career. We've had children who've started off as infant and toddlers who have really ventured into our youth empowerment services. Knowing the family for that long, you really build like a bond and a relationship. Pocono Services for Families and Children has this location in East Stroudsburg, another at the Mountain Center in Toby Hanna, plus Head Start programs in two local elementary schools and they hope to expand to help even more families in need. Kids also receive free nutritious meals and have access to behavioral support if needed. There are resources for parents too. Our parents have a family advocate who partners with them to maybe find a job, any housing issues, they receive that support. We do home visits where we can really sit down with the parent, you know, create goals and create the necessary steps for them to achieve their goals. Without the infant and toddler program, Lee Marie says she wouldn't be able to work full time or generate income for her family. Plus, little Leonardo would have missed out on socialization and other important skills he's learning in the classroom. So we're super grateful for that. An opportunity for kids and their families to grow and thrive. Meet Lisa Latham, a retired teacher who spends her free time helping people. And I just, I just love it. It fills my heart to do it. People like Kathleen Benham-Ram, who was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017 and relies on daily lunch and dinner deliveries from Monroe County Meals on Wheels. Even her best bud, Raven, gets a treat. And even to try to go to the supermarket, I get exhausted, overwhelmed, just trying to walk around with the, you know, shopping for myself. I usually order online sometimes, but so it's great to have know that I don't have to cook and especially cooking just for one person. Five days a week, volunteers use their own vehicles to deliver meals to nearly 300 elderly, homebound, and disabled Monroe County residents over the age of 18. There are fixed routes covering every corner of the county. And no matter what the weather brings, there's always a plan in place to make sure no one goes hungry. The organization also offers a pet program with cat and dog food, plus can provide financial assistance for veterinary care. There's also this pantry with access to household and hygiene essentials. There's a lot of pockets of this county that are very rural, very remote, and a lot of our clients, the volunteer that delivers to them might be the only person they interact with that day or even that week. So our volunteers are, are critical on that front for, for the human connection to help prevent that loneliness, that social isolation. Back on her delivery route, which usually includes 15 to 20 stops, Lisa has developed many friendships since she began volunteering last year. I really feel like a connection with them. One of them passed away recently and it was really difficult to, you know, to process it. But you know, you know, you're helping other people. People like Kathleen, who continues her fight against breast cancer through oral chemotherapy and looks forward to that daily doorbell ring. There's a reason to get out of bed, to know I have to be down and get the meal, otherwise I'll just never get out of bed. Delivering not just hot meals, but hope to those who need it most. If I have to go along a wall, it will tell you this.
These days, 87-year-old Howard Dickinson III relies on a special cane and lenses to get around. In 2017, he developed glaucoma, causing him to lose his driver's license and sense of freedom. So when that happened, that was like the end of the world here in the Poconos. So what would I do? But Howard, who served in the Army during the Cuban Missile Crisis, is back on the road again thanks to Sites for Hope, which provides transportation to those with visual impairments. Throughout the week, drivers like Kareem Harvey take clients to their medical appointments or to run errands. They can also help with tasks like reading labels in the grocery store or scheduling doctor visits. It's rewarding for me to help somebody else out. It's more than money. Um, and all with some, I got to know the clients pretty well. You know, I refer to them as my big brother, my cousin, my brother from another mother. You know, they, they're all family. The organization also offers a low vision store where clients can purchase specialty items like safe knives, talking watches, and phones with big buttons. After Helen Keller challenged the Lions Club to become Knights for the Blind, Sites for Hope formed locally in 1928 and serves about 700 people today across Monroe County and the Lehigh Valley. A lot of times people come to us when they're at a very low point in life. They feel like there's nothing left um, and they, they're not sure how to live. And here at Sites for Hope, we give them that hope that they can get back to the things that bring them joy. Howard agrees. He went from feeling isolated to independent. He also enjoys the educational resources and opportunities to socialize with others who struggle to see. When you're an old man, you can't go anywhere. You can't do anything the way you want to. And, you know, that's the bane of being in a rocking chair. You've got no future. But my future is here with my friends. Uh, I help them, they help me. It's a mentoring of each other. Gaining freedom and friendships, one mile at a time. Congratulations to all three organizations receiving funding from this year's 21st annual Pocono Mountains Community Food Fest fundraiser being held here at Mount Airy Casino Resort Tuesday, September 10th. Visit pmcfevent.com for more information and to get your tickets, contact TJ Price at the number on your screen. With the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk.